Sisters and brothers, I'm here today to talk to you about veganism. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna wait until tomorrow to talk about veganism. Uh -uh. I'm not gonna wait until next Tuesday to talk about veganism. Don't you wait, Brother John. I'm not gonna wait until a week from Thursday to talk about veganism. Tell us now, Brother John. The time to talk about veganism is now! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Oh, vegan, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Go vegan, motherfucker. Mother, 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 motherfucker, fucker, 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 mother, 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 motherfucker, fucker, 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 mother, 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 motherfucker, fucker, 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 go vegan, motherfucker. Tooth. Grandpa's got to put in his tooth. Real cowboy <coughs> Squirt a little bit of it out. You put it on your tongue here. Yeah. 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 Huh? Looks like a fake tooth when I do that, see? My name is John Sackers. I am a 40 year old vegan superhero from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. I just got back from visiting a friend in Long Island, oh, New York for a month and a half. And uh, mm. I'm out of work right now. I'm just working for my brother very rarely, so I'm not making enough money for my own place. But thankfully, I have a wonderful sister who's letting me stay in her son's room, uh, my nephew Nolan. So I have an air mattress and I'm sleeping on the floor. And uh, I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with my life. My big passion for the past couple of years has been making videos for YouTube and unfortunately on May 25th my YouTube account got terminated. I've had some uh, people, I used to refer to them as cyber bullies, but now I just think of them as, as new friends that I haven't met yet. I don't know how my new friends got my YouTube account terminated, but uh, somebody had mentioned maybe a vote bot or something like that. I guess if you get videos flagged a lot or maybe it doesn't even take a lot of flags to get YouTube videos deleted and then accounts terminated but anyway it happened and so I was upset because I put a lot of effort into those videos are you fucking kidding me the videos were saved on a portable drive they got damaged fortunately I was able to get the drive fixed and now I have all the videos I created a few new YouTube accounts and I'm uploading my videos again but I thought at this stage of my life, being 40 years old, sleeping on my nephew's floor, not having a job or a girlfriend or anything, and, and uh, I thought it was time for a, a documentary to try and really think about life uh, and figure out what I'm going to do next. I've been drinking green smoothies for a couple years now and I just love them. Dark leafy greens like kale, collards, and spinach are the most nutrient-dense foods there are. 
And green smoothies are the most delicious way to consume these greens. Just throw them in a blender with some fruits, like uh, any kind of fruit you like, banana, apple, kiwi, strawberries, whatever. I'm excited. Today I'm going to my friend Bill's house. We're going to record a new version of my song, Go Vegan Motherfucker. Go Vegan Motherfucker! And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna use actual instruments this time and real recording equipment. All my songs previously I've just been doing with my little cheap keyboard and my webcam microphone and my laptop, so it's been low, 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 low budget sound. Spank that carnet, spank that carnet. So it'll be nice to get one of my one of my better songs sounding good this time, finally. So, yeah, go vegan motherfucker. Go vegan motherfucker! This is the keyboard I've been writing all my songs on. Oh, keeps turkey corpses in the freezer. Carnest roommates, carnest roommates. I'll just pick a beat here. And then record the beat. And I can also, uh, I'll usually play a bass guitar first, like something that. Uh, And then I play that back. Vegan. Go vegan, motherfucker! And then, see after I rate side the music on the keyboard here, then I'll have my laptop on here, and then I'll see this little spot at the top says webcam. So then what I do is put my head in the right distance between the keyboard and, and here, depending on how loud I'm gonna be singing, to get the right mix. So that's how I mix, is just by singing because I record everything, everything just on one track at the same time. Because I don't, I don't know much about making, you know, music software. I'm not very good with computers and things like that. For my videos, I just use Windows Movie Maker, very simple to use. So I'm not the best with computers. So I do things very, very simply and easily. And so, yeah. So right now, like I'd be hitting record on that, and I'd be singing along. Yo, everybody, everybody needs to go. my new hit song. Okay, on my way to my friend Bill's house to record a new version of my song, Go Vegan Motherfucker. Go Vegan Motherfucker! I once sang Go Vegan Motherfucker in front of a live audience, but the audience wasn't quite ready for it that night. Hello, my wonderful friends. My name is John Sackars, and I love Brooklyn's restaurants. I love Niagara Action for Animals, and as you can see from my shirt, I love veganism. Some of you might have seen this video on, on YouTube, and I, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to perform this song live. It's an original song of mine. I'm just gonna do an acapella version. It's called, Go Vegan Motherfucker. All right. <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Go vegan, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Go vegan, motherfucker! Mother, 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 motherfucker, fucker, 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 mother, 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 motherfucker, fucker, 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 mother, 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 motherfucker, fucker, 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 go vegan, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker! Go vegan, motherfucker! Motherfucker, motherfucker!
Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Sorry, sorry. sorry. There's, There's kids here. There are kids here. I apologize. My sincerest apologies. I didn't realize there were young children here, and I hope I haven't scarred you for life. And uh, forget everything you just saw. Have a wonderful night. Thank you very much, and I apologize. All right, here we are. Let's hope he's awake. Rock and rollers sometimes stay up late. Hi, Bill. Mmm, <laughs> look at that. What you got here, Bill? Well, Laurel made this for you. Wow. It's, uh... And it's all vegan, of course. Vegan food is yummy in your tummy. Yes, we chopped up some vegans and... <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no, yeah, it's all the vegetables, right? Oh, yeah. delicious. Yeah, so... So this is my friend Bill. Bill's a master music maker and he's gonna help me record a good version of my song. Go vegan motherfucker! <laughs> Sounds good, Bill. Let the vegans make a joyful noise! <laughs> I can't wait to see what you come up with for my song. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Alright, how do I find that? Or oh, just go to YouTube and type in Go Vegan Motherfucker. Go Vegan Motherfucker! Motherfucker, like spell it gangster style? Yeah, M U T H F U C K A. Hi, the second one down. The first one's my live performance that kind of bombed. I didn't realize there were young children here, and I hope I haven't scarred you for life. From the uh, keyboard. Yeah, uh, come on, uh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know wow, I can throw like a, an Egyptian lead guitar solo on that. Oh, awesome. Cool, Egyptians need to go vegan too, so... Cool, so this is the chorus? <laughs> I don't know the structure. This is to be the verse. And that's kind of... Sounds like a bridge. Yeah, I guess the chorus is just the... It's just go vegan fuck motherfucker. I'm going by what the, the, guitar, the bass guitar is doing. Yeah. Like this would be, uh, what do you, what would you call this part? Like a bridge. A bridge. This is epic. It's got like, actually, if you look at the arrangement of this, it's got like 11 different parts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cool, let's metalize it. You know, we like to metalize it, but that, but that riff could have that sort of edge to it, right? These guitar amp models. Acoustic.
floor tom sound like a fucking car accident. That is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. There's just one thing. Go vegan, motherfucker. Perfect. Motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Go vegan, motherfucker. Fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a mother 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 fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a mother 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 fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a go vegan motherfucker. Let's go with your drum track here. Yeah. Practice takes you. Oh my god, this will sound so great. Oh, Bill, Bill. The way I had it is just the beat starts for a bit, just the beat. You could, we could. Tell me. Yeah, and then it comes in right now. Now. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Do you want to have some of that vegan casserole? Vegan food is yummy in your tummy. Here, stick that in your fucking cake hole. <laughs> you don't want to be on film, eh, Laurel? I don't. No. But thank you for. for uh, was it lunch? I don't even know what time it is. Is this dinner? Who knows? We eat when we're hungry. Bill, how was your delicious vegan meal? It was veggie rific. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. Oh. Mm. Delicious. I'm no vegan, motherfucker! Uh. <laughs> Go vegan, motherfucker! Yeah, we gon' feed it up with this bitch. <laughs> we snapping vegans off 24 7. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. It was awesome. And I can't believe we got the whole thing done. And MP3 is sent. And I got to make the rest of this documentary. Thank you for, uh, for helping me out with this song. And I think uh, my fans of Go Vegan Motherfucker are going to enjoy this mix. And it's nice, sounds nice and heavy and awesome. Awesome, dude. <laughs> Go Vegan Motherfucker. Say hallelujah! Hallelujah! Okay, have a good night. See you later. Okay, talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Ciao. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm headed home now. I think that went very well, that recording session. And uh, I think that people are going to like this new version of Go Vegan Motherfucker. Go Vegan Motherfucker! I'm walking home now. It's going to be about an hour and a half walk. My sister's boyfriend dropped me off this afternoon, but he's at work now. And so, but I'm happy for the walk. I enjoy walking. It's a beautiful day. From 16 to 22, I played drums in heavy metal bands. That's me on the far left, wearing the cow corpse. And that's Bill, who you just met, beside me, wearing the shades. Hair was pretty important to me back then. Then, when I was 23, I cut my hair and went to college to study journalism. Unfortunately, I didn't go vegan until after college, when I was 27. By my late 30s, my hairline had receded so much, I started shaving my head. When I got a video camera in 2009, I began wearing wigs in videos to play different characters. This is Mountain Weed, the neo-hippie carnist. A carnist is someone who thinks it's okay to eat some animals. This is Cousin Zeke, the redneck vegan. And this is Arlene, Zeke's vegan wife. Check this out. Mm. Smell my finger. For Halloween in 2010, I wore the Arlene wig and I dressed up like a rock star, although many people thought I looked like a pirate. I wore my sister's scarf, bicycle shorts, long johns, red socks from my chicken costume, and women's boots from a thrift store. At the Halloween party I was at, a song came on that had the word motherfucker in it. The young people seemed to like the song, so I thought I'd write a song that had motherfucker in it. I had a couple of tattoos, one of which said go vegan. I also had go vegan on the hood of my car that I had at that time. And so I put these words together and I wrote a song on my keyboard called go vegan motherfucker. 
I painted these words on an old sheet I got from a hotel I used to work at as a room attendant, and I made the video. Go Vegan Motherfucker was a huge hit. People seem to like the long hair, so I wore the wigs in many other videos. I wrote songs about important issues. And I made some videos just for entertainment purposes. I don't want to lick your stinky balls. I want vegan balls. Vegan balls. I don't want to lick your rancid clits. I want the vegan clits. Vegan clits. Hello! I'm going to ride my bicycle. I'm in St. David's, Ontario. I'm going to ride to Niagara Falls, the city where I always lived, and give you a tour. I'm a vegan badass, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a motherfucking vegan badass. That was a long bike ride, but I'm now at the far end of Niagara Falls, the south end, where I, I lived until the age of nine. Ready to see where I lived till I was nine years old? Right here. That was, that was the driveway, and uh, yeah, it used to look a little different then. There were four walls and a roof back then, but it was an old dumpy house, and I... Uh, yeah, it got torn down, but there's the empty lot. Uh, I'm a vegan badass, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a motherfucking vegan badass. Here's the house I lived in with my two brothers and my sister and my mom and my stepfather from the age of 9 till 20. And uh, this is the road where we played road hockey on all the time. Hockey, hockey, hockey. We played organized ice hockey. And my family was very good with uh, getting me to hockey practice, you know, at 6 a.m. and hockey games and everything. So I had a, a very nice childhood. You know, there was always food on our plate. Obviously, we I was raised as a, as a carnist. Everyone else in my family still eats animals. We did get lots of good fruits and veggies. We had a garden in the back all the time. And uh, But there were some sad moments in this house as well. Some uh, substance abuse issues. And uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go into detail about all of that, but if you, uh, you know, you saw some of what I experienced growing up, you'd realize why I want nothing to do with alcohol. And I'm very glad to be straight edge. I'm a vegan badass, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a motherfucking vegan badass. This is the elementary school I attended, Valley Way Public School. My most vivid memory at this school is pissing my pants in grade 4. The teacher had told us to go to the bathroom at recess, not during class. And maybe I forgot to go during recess that day. But I, I fought so hard to keep the urine inside my body. I squeezed my legs together. and, and uh, But finally I just couldn't hold it any longer and I wet my pants. I'm a vegan badass, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm a motherfucking vegan badass. Here's the high school I attended, West Lane Secondary School. And unfortunately, I was very shy when I attended this school. I hardly talked to anyone. I never kissed a girl, never held a girl's hand. I used to eat my lunch in the library in a cubicle because I was too shy to go to the cafeteria because there were so many people there. I never went to one school dance or a, or a sporting event or anything. I just did the bare minimum. I didn't even want to go get my yearbook photo taken. I just went to school, did my homework, and went home. My family life at that time wasn't really the best, and I was just very shy and insecure. And fortunately, I've, you know, as you know, I turned into a vegan superhero over the years. Stop the seal slaughter! Stop! 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 Stop exploiting the reproductive systems of other species. Chickens are friends, not machines to create Eggs. Eggs are chicken periods. If you want to eat periods, eat your own periods. Well, if you love whales, you should not come to Marine Land because your money is going towards incarcerating whales, keeping them locked up in swimming pools. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! The rodeo has got to go! Hey, hey! And I did things to get over my shyness. I did public speaking with Toastmasters. 
I went to comedy clubs and did stand-up comedy on amateur night a few times and I built up my confidence by taking action and then 20 years later I went after graduating I went back to the school as an environmentalist I was invited to speak as an, at an environmental I uh, asked school assembly and I performed for half an hour. I went to four different stores at the beginning of winter and every pair of gloves was made in China. And I thought, this is incredible. No one in Canada knows how to make a pair of gloves. Someone said, I'll make you a pair of gloves, John. And so she got vegan wool made out of recycled pop bottles and she made me the gloves I'm wearing. I had another friend, she said, I'll make you a scarf. And she said, I'll knit one out of plastic bags. You can see the joy on my face with green smoothies. So I recommend them to realize everything's impermanent and a lot of suffering comes from our attachments or our egos and our possessions. Be happy and embrace your flaws and turn them into positive. Drum roll, please. The people who ate the most animal-based foods got the most chronic disease. The people who ate the most plant-based foods were the healthiest and tended to avoid chronic disease. Thank you again very much for having me today. It's been a big thrill. Thank you very much. That's not all I did at West Lane that day. I also got to perform my song, Appreciate. It was a thrill singing in front of 600 people. Here's an excerpt. I love you guitar. I love you drums. I love everything. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, mom. I love you, dad. I love everyone. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Appreciate the trees. Appreciate the flowers. Appreciate one blade of grass for hours upon hours. Appreciate all creatures and all the lands they roam. The radio in the ocean and the ants outside your home. How many carnists does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. Carnists prefer to stay in the dark. Actually, that's not entirely true. Sometimes carnists make a decision to turn on a light. This is the place where I screwed in my light bulb. Niagara Falls Public Library. Yo, animal lover, I know you like to talk, but if you ain't a vegan, you need to take a walk to the library. Let's learn about veganism. Unfortunately, they don't have the book. But it's called Old McDonald's Factory Farm, and that's the book that changed my life. I was 27 years old, and a co-worker of mine had told me that animal products are not good for us. And so I was surprised to hear that, because at the time I was into lifting weights, and all my bodybuilding heroes were t uh, telling me to eat lots of animal protein. Uh, so I was every 30 grams of animal protein every three hours. Lots of uh, tuna and eggs and chicken breasts and beef. And uh, so she told me animal products weren't good for me. I came to the library to look, th look into this matter, and I stumbled upon the book Old McDonald's Factory Farm, and I was shocked to learn about how cruel factory farming is. And I remember thinking, I'm gonna go home and tell all my family, and they're gonna stop eating animals too. But to this day, almost 14 years later, they all eat animals. And uh, so I know it can be frustrating sometimes dealing with family. I'm a vegan badass, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm a motherfucking vegan badass. You'll be happy to see I have some interesting scenery for you now. We're at Niagara Falls. That's the American Falls and the Bridal Veil Falls, these little falls to the right. And then we have the Niagara River and the Horse Horseshoe Falls. I feel like shouting out, go vegan motherfucker, but some people already think vegans are crazy, so I don't think that'll help matters at all. One more shot of Niagara Falls. Woo! Well, it was awesome giving you a tour of Niagara Falls yesterday. Now it's Canada Day 2011. I'm here at Optimist Park. I don't consider myself a Canadian. I consider myself an Earthling. I think that the world would be a better place without countries, religions, governments, and wars. Everywhere I look, people are chugging blood and pus and eating corpses. And dipped pogos. What the fuck is a pogo? What sort of animal do you think is that? In memory of those no one loves 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 it's too late.
late for them to know love. It's too late for them to know love. It's too late for them to know love. It's too late for them to know love. But it's never, 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 never too late for you to go vegan. This is one crazy celebration. Are we celebrating Canada or celebrating murder? Go vegan. Go vegan, motherfucker, go vegan. Motherfucker, go vegan, 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 motherfucker, motherfucker, fucker, 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 go vegan, motherfucker, 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 go vegan. Go vegan motherfucker, go vegan motherfucker, go vegan. Go vegan motherfucker, go vegan. Damn motherfucker, go vegan 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 motherfucker, go vegan. Yay, go vegan motherfucker. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go home and finish my film. Go vegan, motherfucker, so the whole world can go vegan, motherfucker. This is my brother Derek. Derek has been fantastic to me with uh, lending me money when I need it. Derek, anything to say to the world? Uh, let them know about me. You've known me for your whole life. <laughs> okay, basically what I'm going to say is that John's been making this documentary and somehow he thinks he's going to be famous for this documentary. He's been on YouTube many times. He's been taken off YouTube. I think he's got delusion problems. And the people out there who watch his videos and say they're great, you need to stop. You need to, I'm serious, no, I'm not even trying to be funny here. Mm -hmm. You need to stop. You need to kind of help John actually get a job maybe for once in his life. Start contributing to society. I've had okay? jobs. I realize that, but this whole video thing has got to stop. You got to, people out there, you got to stop. You got to stop, okay? Just stop it. You all know that you're just humoring the monkey. Like, it's like you're, you're, you're trying to the circus clown. You're all, dance for me, puppet, dance for me. And that's what you're doing there. You're not helping him. If you care about John as an individual, you should say, John, so my plea now is anybody out there who's got any kind of money, you have to hire John for a job. Get him some kind of income, do something. I don't care if you want to hire him as your court jester, that's cool, do that. But get the guy some, some direction, because his problem is he's, he's, he's almost unhirable right now, because one, he's with his, right, his animal rights and all this nonsense he does, he uh, is very specific what jobs he can take. He can't work at restaurants, he can't work at certain places because of his beliefs. For one, and two, he's so into his own head for these videos, like he always thinks about his video, 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 that I had him work for me a few times, he's not thinking because he's just filming videos all the time. So my plea to everyone out there is, is I didn't want to do this video in the first place, but I think it's important that you guys kind of stop, stop it, okay? John, stop it. People watching it, stop it. All of you kind of give him some more constructive criticism, help him out. Not that he's not talented, he can make videos, but he's got to at least get a job, you know? He hasn't worked since 2009. Went to his host today. He's getting skinny. He's starving. He's got no money. I didn't give him 60 bucks for food because the guy can't. I know I owed him the 60 bucks. Well, technically, he owes me more than that back, but. Yeah, so you're 900, right? I gave him $60 because he needs it for food because he's not eating because all he's doing is making these damn videos all the time. Okay, and so far, he's made. How many videos made, John? Uh, 280, I think. Okay, and how much? Not 290. How much have you made off of them? I had some people give me donations. Uh, they're active as well. as well. Top of your head. I don't know. Maybe like 700 bucks. Okay, $700, how many videos? 240 290 okay, over the so, course of a few years. So you're getting a little over $2 <laughs> a video. So you're getting it. And it takes you, so you're, you're pretty much here for $0.10 cents an hour, basically, on these damn videos. Something like that, but it's fun. But don't you think maybe you should maybe get a job and do this in your spare time? Yes. Well, after this film is done, I will get a job. Okay. Well, if anyone out there needs help, hire him. He's not really good for that much.
But if you need the message brought out there, you need someone to go. If he'll handle leaflets. If you got flyers handle, this dude can handle flyers like no one's business. Yes. And he'll even handle people who don't even care. Don't want this damn stuff. Because if he hands me flyers, I don't want it. So anyway, I'm saying I, I didn't want to play this video, but I feel it's necessary that I tell people out there that give the guy some direction. Don't humor him anymore. Don't be because I think that you're being asked yourself by just humoring the guy because it's not. It's obviously two, 300 videos making 700 bucks. It's not working for him. All right. Yeah, that's okay. my piece. Thank you, Derek. I love you. Thank you very much. Yeah, whatever. Have a great Canada Day. <laughs> Derek is a successful businessman, and he's right that I need to start making some money so I can take care of myself. He's also right that I've been obsessed with making videos. So many videos. I'm surprised only one guy has ever threatened to shove my video camera up my fucking ass sideways. Did I told you, I'll stick that right up your fucking ass sideways. I've captured some beautiful moments with my video camera, such as when Grace the Sheep wagged her tail at Farm Sanctuary. I've stepped outside of my comfort zone in my videos many times, and I've made some mistakes. But I've also reaped some rewards. For instance, I used to be shy about dancing in public, but then after I made this dancing video in my own basement, and people said they liked my dancing, that gave me the courage to begin dancing in public. Now if I go out, I'm on the dance floor instead of being a wallflower. This is the Niagara Gorge. I think it's the most beautiful place in Niagara. This gorge was carved out by the falls over the course of 12,000 years. I've been coming here regularly since I was a child. Today was a unique visit because I saw something I'd never seen before. I stopped for a moment to admire the scenery and then this happened. That was pretty amazing. There's the tree, that's where it broke. And it broke right across the path. This fine gentleman is <laughs> breaking branches so we can get through. I continued down into the gorge and paused again to admire the water. I was pleasantly surprised to not see anyone hurting fish on this beautiful day. I began hiking by the water's edge and I saw something else I hadn't seen in the gorge before. An old, rusted bicycle. I thought about my own bicycle, which I had used to pedal around the city to show you different places where I've lived and gone to school. It's been a lot of fun making this documentary and going down memory lane. I can't say for sure what I'm going to be doing next in my life, but I feel pretty confident in saying that no matter what, I'll always be creative and I'll always be a vegan. I also look forward to having a girlfriend. I've spent many years as a lonely artist and I look forward to having a wonderful vegan woman to cuddle with and do activism with. I'll keep riding my bicycle and drinking my green smoothies and taking good care of myself so I can be alive as long as possible. I hope I can live to see the day when the whole world is a vegan paradise, but I know I need to make the most of every moment now, because I could die any day. Sisters and brothers, I used to eat meat. So true. Mm. I used to eat eggs. Yes, you did. I used to eat dairy products too. You know it. Mm -hmm. Then one day, I read the truth about factory farming. I learned the truth about how much suffering I was causing. And I saw the light. Praise it, Brother John Preacher. And I went vegan. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I gotta tell you, sisters and brothers, it feels mighty good. Knowing that I no longer hurt animals, preach it, preach it. it feels so good 
to be a vegan? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm. One time I was hiking in the gorge with a friend, and it got dark and I lost track of the path and we ended up getting lost. Fortunately, she had her cell phone on her and she called the police, and we finally got rescued by the police at almost 11 o'clock at night. Maybe you're feeling lost in your life right now. Maybe you're sick, unhealthy, obese. Maybe you have no energy and no passion for life. Veganism can rescue you. Veganism can transform your life. Fruits and veggies, beans and grains, nuts and seeds can heal you and give you energy. Veganism can lift you up. Veganism can lift up your mind. Veganism can lift up your body. The system of carnism conditions people to believe that eating animals is normal, natural, and necessary. However, you do not need to eat any animal products to be healthy. In fact, animal products are bad for you. Meat, eggs, and dairy are loaded with artery-clogging cholesterol. Plant foods, on the other hand, have no cholesterol in them. Plant foods have the vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, and fiber your body needs to be healthy. Plant foods have all the flavor, too. I eat a wider variety of foods as a vegan than I ever did as a carnist. Look up veganism on the internet. Try nutritious and delicious vegan food. Every time you sit down to eat, you have an opportunity to make compassionate choices. If you don't think you can go vegan right now, start out with me this Monday and build from there. Just know that veganism is something you need to work towards. You're a good person, and you need to start living with integrity, where your actions match your morals. We have the potential to turn this planet into an awesome place. Together, we can make Earth a vegan paradise. Well, Grandpa's got a point in his tooth. Ah, oh, good morning. Oh, just some corn and rice. Something very sim simple. I'm on a tight budget until I find a job. This is Eddie. With that very Eddie the Wonder Dog. It's now three years later, it's 2014, and here I am showing you that I do help out around the house at my sister's new place. And I'm paying her some rent money for half the basement. This bed is awesome. There was uh, the base and a box spring, but no mattress. Then my brother Ryan said, hey, you can have my mattress, but you got to take the box spring too. So we took them both and now it's double box spring and mattress. So basically I'm sleeping six feet in the air. <laughs> so if I ever have a girlfriend, well, you can decide which side of the bed you, you want. Well, it feels good to be back to this documentary after three years. It's now uh, 2014 and I'm 43 years old, still vegan. And uh, yeah, I'd like to tell you what's new uh, to conclude this film. Well, my hat's new. My, my stepfather gave me a hat and I wanted to veganize it. So I got some paint. So yeah, you don't need to buy vegan shirts or vegan hats. Just do it yourself. Hey, look at that. A little bit of paint. I made a vegan hat. Also, uh, since last time I spoke to you in this in this film, I got a, a job at a hotel. I worked there for a while. I knock three times. Knock, knock, knock. Housekeeping! Would you like your, your pillows fluffed? And I spent a, a little bit of money. I hate owning material possessions. I like to own as fewest number of possessions I can own. But uh, 
you know, for years I, I made videos and I, I am still making videos, but I wanted to the quality to be a little better. So I spent a little bit of money on, you know, I got a, a bass guitar and, and some, I don't make my music the old fashioned way like I did before. I bought a proper microphone and some software to uh, properly record on my computer and sing into an actual microphone instead of just singing into the webcam. So the quality of my videos has gone up a little bit. Go vegan, yeah, 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 yeah. Something else that's new is I got a vasectomy. That was a very simple little 20 minute procedure and my balls were a little swollen for, you know, a few days, but then I'm, I was fine. I can't get anyone pregnant because I got a vasectomy. And that's a big uh, stress reliever to know that I got a vasectomy and I can't get anyone pregnant now because wow, what a huge responsibility that is. I see my sister and her boyfriend with the kids and how busy they are and I just like being an uncle. I'm Uncle John and I have some nieces and nephews and that's that's good enough for me. I don't need any kids of my own. Something else I bought with the money I made at my last job is a green screen and, uh, and four lights, umbrella lights. It's been a lot of fun having the green screen because I can do many creative things. For instance, I made a video where it looks like I'm being factory farmed. There's, I think, about 150 uh, Johns in that video. And I've been able to make videos where there's a whole band of, of me. So, you know, it's lots of fun, especially for someone who's vain. You know, I can make a whole bunch of me's. I'm just kidding. I'm not vain. I'm just having fun. And I, if I had more friends to be creative with, then that'd be awesome. I don't even need to be in front of the camera. It's just that I like making videos and you know, I have to get out in the world and make more friends. But for now, it's just me in the basement. So, uh, you know, I'm the one in the videos. Something else I got recently is some clay so that I could do claymation. Here's a little robot drummer and a drum set. For claymation, what you do is take a picture and then move the figure a little bit and then take another picture, move a little bit more, take another picture, move a little bit more, take another picture, and so on, and put all the pictures together. And then, next thing you know, the robot is playing the drums. I wanna be a robot, baby. Do you see yourself? Yeah. You look fine? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't really care, but... So if me and John were hanging out, this is how close we sit. <laughs> we hang out, I'm just freaking joking with you. Um, John wouldn't be sitting on one couch and I'd be sitting on the other couch. Yeah, we're just hanging out in the basement in front of the green screen because that's where we hang out with all, with, all the, with all these lights on us. Yeah. So this is the exciting conclusion of my film. Go vegan, motherfucker! Go vegan, motherfucker! Except my sister isn't going to swear because she's not a de degenerate like me, right? Well, I don't want to lose my job. This film is all about me. Because I'm vain and I made a movie about myself. So what do you? We shouldn't surprise anybody, by the way. This is not something new that John would make a video about himself. Yeah. So what do you think about? <laughs> what do you think about me? Okay. So um. <laughs> wow. Why do you have to be sitting this close to me while I'm trying to talk about you? Okay. I'm anyways. Sorry, sorry. All right. Let me give you. Let me give you the scoop about my brother John. I remember one time when I spoke close to my brother Ryan, and he had a lot of laugh laughter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here's a here's a clip of that. <laughs> what? I can't stop laughing. I feel like this fucking time. close. Right, man. <laughs> okay. Now carry on. Sorry. What are you gonna say? Okay. So, here's what I'm gonna say. I probably lived and known John. Do you have to stare at me? No. Why don't you go stand over there? Stand over there and get in. I'm just going to see. You should just sit there. Yeah. But you're making me nervous. So how am well, I supposed to talk about you like you're not here? All right. You want me to leave? Want me to leave? Yeah. Go stand over there. Okay. All right. Let's move. Let's, let's get comfy here. All right. We're good. Okay. So I'll tell you a few things about my brother, John. Yeah. He likes to be the center of attention. Yeah, he likes to be the kid that, you know, he's very, he's always been very artsy. He's always wanted to uh, try new things. You know, he's, he's a very good guy. Overall, with everybody um, disliking my brother, it's like, you know, at times it's hard to swallow because I see different sides of him. I see him with my kids. I see, you know, him in family situations around the house and stuff. Um, there are moments where John snaps. 
if he's concentrating on a vegan video or he's working on a piece of artwork, John tends to tends to snap. What do you um, mean snap? It, well, snap, you, you get a little edgy because you're so into what you're doing. Okay? People are going to be thinking I punch well, you or need something. To know, no, you don't, you're not violent. You don't hit me or anything. You might tell me to beep off or something, but you're not, you're not like violent. Anyways, I, they got to know the good and the bad and the ugly, right? Like they got to yes, know. I just right? want to say people interpret things when you say that I snap. You oh, don't know what I'm good doing. Lord, yeah, actually, you'll I'm, probably get like 50, 50 messages on your face of going, oh my God, John's beating his sister. Like who knows what's going to come out. Um, sorry. But I am going to be real. You, yeah. you do snap sometimes and in a way like just verbally because he's, he's focused. Um, I believe John has OCD. I think he has obsessive compulsive disorder when it comes to certain things. When he tries at something, he has to do it 300%, tenfold, that's all he does. When John was doing his artwork, it was day in, day out, you know, he would sit there and cut out little tiny pieces of metal or little pieces of glass and for them to make these ginormous, great pieces of artwork. I remember one time he was leafleting at Niagara College and two girls were walking past and they didn't realize that that was my brother. I brought him out a cup of tea and uh, green tea, and I uh, got him a vegan muffin. And I remember these girls were walking past and they were picking on John. They were saying bad comments about him or whatever. And I mean, I'm sure he runs into it all the time, but it kind of hit home with me because it was right in front of me and I didn't realize what my brother goes through all the time. And I kept walking behind these two girls and one of them had said, you know, oh, what a faggot. He's probably gay or he's this or he's that. Well, first of all, what's wrong with being gay? And second of all, um, he's a great person. You have no idea. So I walked up to these two girls and I confronted them and I told them that he was my brother and that, um, you know, it's he's a good person and he's out there day, day after day trying to help encourage people to turn vegan. Um... I guess I'm probably the biggest hypocrite in the world because I am a meat eater and I do live with John and I see all the hard work he does and it's kind of like a reality check to me every now and again because he's so passionate about something and I kind of fight him on it and I'm always asking him questions about it and kind of trying to come up with excuses why I can't become a vegan but really he's right bottom line is he is right and one day hopefully mentally I am able to realize um, what it is that, what it is that I need to change. And, uh, John always says it's education. Um, always asking yourself, you know, w watching videos, uh, going on YouTube, um, Googling different things that you're curious about and educating yourself as much as possible. Um, he works very, 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 very hard at fighting for a cause um, that he is completely passionate about. And uh, I know I speak for my whole family that we do love John. And uh, it's he's he's grown up to be this amazing man. I kind of feel like his mom at times. Because <laughs> I'm like his biggest supporter. And we live together and everybody's like, why do you let John sleep in your basement on your couch? Um, and bottom line is because we love him. And he'll always have a place in my house and in my home. And if people don't think that's right, then you don't really know John. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very take much. Care. By the way, I'm not gay. Just because uh, just, <laughs> you mentioned about the kids saying I was gay. Just for yes. any women no, who, are, no, who are interested. No. But but there is nothing wrong with it. Like, yes. Even if you were John, because you have wore some pretty tight jeans. <laughs> okay. Let's let's be honest here. Let's not let's not sugarcoat it. You have. There's been a few times with your makeup and your wigs. I kind of questioned. Wait a second. What's going on? Or he puts on a dress. Darcy, can yes. I borrow your dresses? But thank you very much. Okay, can I make another appearance just to... Yeah. Aw, uh, like... thanks. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Many people say they'll never go vegan. It's a me, you fucking pussy! Well, if you think you'll never go vegan, join the club. Because most vegans, at one point, thought they'd never go vegan. Pussy! One time I thought I'd never go vegan. Now I've been vegan for 16 years. Many people say the world will never be a vegan paradise. God put animals here on earth 
for us to use as we please. However, we can indeed have a vegan world. If every vegan can get at least one person to go vegan every year, then veganism can grow exponentially. Let's say right now we're at 2% vegan. Well, 2%, 4%, 8%, 16%, 32%, 64%, 100% 100% vegan world by 2020 or 2021. Can you imagine that? How beautiful that would be? All we have to do is work hard at promoting veganism and we can have a vegan world soon. Hello. Hi, help animals. Thank you. Have a great day. If you are vegan, your friends and family members may sometimes try to tease you for being vegan. Well, Jesus H. fucking Christ! You're one of them, ain't you? Fucking vegan! However, I bet deep down they respect you for being vegan. I bet they respect you for living your values and being kind to animals. Well, good for you! I am an atheist and I don't believe in heaven. However, I do believe that together we can make planet Earth a heavenly place. I have snuck into factory farms in the middle of the night, and let me tell you, those places are not heavenly. I have smelled the stench. It stinks so badly in here. It's like there's someone pissed inside my nose. It's just horrible stench. I have heard the racket. Can you imagine living with that noise 24 hours a day, and the stench in the air is just disgusting. I have looked into the eyes of beings who are suffering. If you buy animal products, you are paying for animals to get tortured. You're paying for her to be abused in this horrible way. Factory farms are evil, vile, hellish places. This is a fucking horror movie. However, happy meat farms are evil too. There's no such thing as happy meat. Meat is murder. How would you like it if you were in my position? How would you feel if you were the one who was going to get murdered so that people could eat your dead body? How would you feel if you were me right now? Would you like it? Would you like to get murdered and have someone eat you? Be honest with me. Be straight with me. To make Earth a heavenly place, we all need to practice the golden rule and treat others the way we'd like to be treated. You wouldn't like to get killed and eaten, so please don't kill and eat anyone else. You wouldn't like for someone to exploit you, so don't support the exploitation of others. We have no right to use animals for food, clothing, entertainment, or experiments. Who the hell children? This is horrific. Growing little children and fattening them up so people can murder them and eat their corpses. Do you realize how disturbing that is? How terrible it is? How evil that is? So please, no more eating animals. Go vegan. We are awesome. Animals are awesome. Planet Earth is awesome. We are awesome. Animals are awesome. Planet Earth is awesome. I do not believe in free will. It seems to me that free will is an illusion and that I am just a victim of my genetics and life experiences. The reason why I am vegan is simply because I got lucky with my genetics and life experiences. I was born with a brain that is good at feeling empathy and I had life experiences that set me on the vegan path. If you are still a pre-vegan, I wish you all the best. I don't think I'm any better than you are. I just hope that you get lucky in life, lucky enough to go vegan. You can't go inside your brain and rewire things and increase your ability to feel empathy, but you can have life experiences that will inspire you to go vegan if people give you those life experiences. That's why we need all the vegans of the world to get active with promoting veganism so that the pre-vegans can get the life experiences they need to get inspired to go vegan. I want to live in a world where we all respect each other, so I respect everyone now. Not believing in free will has helped me in many ways. First of all, it helps me to stay reasonably humble because I realize I'm not responsible for my actions. So even with this documentary, I don't feel proud of it. I didn't make it. The universe made this documentary. So if you don't like it, blame the universe. <laughs> also, not believing in free will helps me to feel empathy for absolutely everyone. If anyone ever does something that I dislike, I just think to myself, well, if I had that person's genetics and life experiences, I would have done the exact same thing. 
Some people say, well, if people don't have free will, then they can't choose to go vegan. But I think that because there isn't free will, that's awesome because people can't choose to not go vegan. If they get the life experiences that they need to get inspired to go vegan, then they're just going to go vegan. They won't be able to choose to not go vegan. So again, that's why we need everybody out there promoting veganism. There are many vegans all around the world just waiting to give you the life experiences you need to go vegan. There are many awesome books about veganism and websites, videos, movies about veganism. And maybe, just maybe, this silly little documentary will inspire at least one person to... Go vegan, motherfucker!
are towers to use for anything Leafy animals, the fuck alone You've got to live your life with integrity It is time for you to go free